हेलो फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू डेली इलेक्ट्रिकल यूट्यूब चैनल टू द न्यू व्यूवर्स जस्ट डू सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट द रेगुलर अपडेट्स सो टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज पीएलसी और प्रोग्रामेबल लॉजिक कंट्रोलर पीएलसी इज बेसिकली अ रैगेट कंप्यूटर व्हिच कैन बी यूज्ड इन इंडस्ट्रियल एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस कंट्रोल और मेनी मोर applications where we can get the input data as a form of digital output or maybe analog output and we can process the data to get a uh, logic and after the logic flow we can control the outputs we can get it from here so it is a basic gic make plc with uh, eight digital inputs we have connected the auxiliary here 110 to 240 volt ac so we have just connected a 240 volt ac line here and this C1, C2 is for connecting the another extension with this base model which can expand the inputs or the outputs. If you require more than 8 digital inputs like 16 digital inputs you need. So you need to connect one extension along with this base model. Now coming to the output, there are 4 digital outputs here. That means you will get 4 enotype relay contacts from here. So this will be controlled by the logic you provided in the program. So we have got total 1 to 8, 8 number of digital inputs here. Digital input simply means whether this line voltage is present here or here or here or not. So this I1 digital input is connected. That means this line voltage is present here in I1. So you can connect a field sensor output or maybe uh, relay output here along with this line voltage in series so if your relay is stripped it can get the series voltage here and it can make the circuit complete thereafter we can say that i1 is injected here so if you connect another relay output here in i2 in series with this line voltage so if the relay is stripped or nc position normally closed then it will complete the circuit with this line voltage and it will give a digital input here in i2 so it is nc type digital input we are discussing you can find this kind of ports in all plc's these are given for exchanging the program with your desktop you can connect one usb cable from here and you can upload and download the program from your laptop let us take a hands-on example with a short program and check how it works actually. So this is the programming interface of Gini PLC. You can check there is a total 8 inputs here in the base model as we can see in the hardware itself. There are 4 digital outputs here. These are auxiliary relays. We have total 64 numbers. There are various type of timers like on delay, on off, sequential, start delta, etc. So we can use any of the timers, total 16 number timers we have, we can use in programming. There are 16 number of time switches, 16 number of compare counters. This is for text display. If you want to display some text, in your programming so you can also make it happen from here this is the jet keys and this is our meters so let us do a simple program here by taking one input we are taking this i1 just drag and drop it here and we will connect one timer here this timer t1 will be connected to the input the coil of T1 is connected to the input right now. We can configure it as on delay, off delay, single pulse, equal, unequal, on off. So now we will select this one, equal, unequal, on off. And we can give here the data, 2 second on and 2 second off. So it simply means when you will give the input trigger, timer will on for 2 second and off for 2 second and it will be repeated. And now we are taking the contact of this T1 and connect with one of the output T1. We also want a text display here. 
so we can connect it in parallel with this run we will configure this display as output on so let us check the simulation first we can enter the simulation mode with PC if I give the input I1 it is in no position if I make it NC so I am triggering the input and you can check the timer has started and whenever the timer NC coil is giving the output it is displaying as output on and output Q1 is turned on so let us test this program on our PLC itself so now we will upload this program to our PLC by selecting first the model here the model number is G7 DDT11 so we will configure the PLC model first G7 DDT11 ok and we will transfer this program from PC to device and now the program is downloaded successfully yes we have connected this small LED light chain with neutral directly and we have connected inner side of Q1 output and we have connected one phase here directly to the common of Q1 output it is from here and we have connected this phase directly to the I1 you can connect any switch in between so it will control your I1 input here so let us turn on the PLC so af just after turning on the input I1 is directly connected so it is getting the input as it is connected with sequential on off timer so it is giving an output of 2 second so it is turning on the LED chain for 2 second so we can check this input 1 is always triggered and based on that sequential on off timer it is giving the output whenever the NC contact is triggering output so it is displaying as output on and the LED chain is on thank you for watching for more videos stay tuned with our channel